the Amazon River Dolphin lives around the basins where the Amazon River and Orinoco River drains. Both of these rivers are found in South America. They are known to be found around many areas including Colombia, Bolivia, Venezuela, Guyana, Ecuador, and Peru. They can live up to 1,865 miles from the shore. They have an overall distribution that covers close to 7 million square kilometers. They do have limits in their environment, including marine waters, rapids that are impossible for them to pass, waterfalls, and even some areas of these rivers that are simply too shallow for them to successfully get through. What is very interesting is that the Amazon River Dolphin can survive in plenty of different types of microhabitats. For example, they do well in the mouth of a river, in a lake, below waterfalls, in small channels, and around main rivers. As long as the water temperature is warm enough and they have food, they should be able to do just fine. For this species of dolphin, one of the significant influences of where they will reside, though, is the amount of water in terms of how high it is. During various times of the year, the water levels will drop too low in certain areas, which triggers migration for the Amazon River Dolphin. These dolphins may live in pods that only contain two members. Others are small pods of about 15 members. They aren't as social as other species of dolphins, so the larger groups aren't often seen. They prefer to keep them at lower numbers. They form strong bonds within their pod, and they seem to be the most active early in the morning, as well as again later in the evening. They don't swim fast, but they are still very playful as well as quite curious. They tend to get very close to the boats in the water to explore them. Sometimes they will interact with other species of dolphins. They have been seen taking part in lobtailing, waving flippers, and rolling. They aren't deep divers, so they are frequently seen at the surface of the water. It is seldom that you will see them with their flukes out of the water. The flexibility of their body allows the Amazon River Dolphin to swim through some very tight areas. They can also swim upside down if they need to. They are typically solitary and are rarely seen in tight groups of more than three pairs. Pairs are usually mothers with their calves. calves. However, loose aggregations associated with either feeding or mating do occur periodically. Inia geofrensis is the scientific name for Amazon River Dolphin. Photos is another name for the River Dolphin. They do not appear to establish a social hierarchy through aggression and captivity, but violent acts are not uncommon. They have also been known to react protectively to individuals that have been captured or injured. They are active during both day and nighttime hours and are known to associate with other animals, including giant otters and tecuxis, when pursuing prey. Photos are quite playful and curious in the wild. It is not unusual for them to rub against canoes and grasp canoe paddles of fishermen in the rivers and they've been observed pulling grass underwater, throwing sticks, and playing with logs and smaller animals, including fish and turtles. They don't swim fast, but they are still very playful as well as quite curious. Sometimes they will interact with other species of dolphins. It is generally believed that all marine animals, mammals evolved from land-based ancestors around 50 to 60 million years ago. Of all the marine mammals, the dolphins are among those most adapted to an aquatic way of life. All cetaceans were well diversified around 50 million years ago. It is widely accepted accepted in scientific circles that both the baleen and tooth whales share a common ancestor now extinct. The closest living relative of dolphins today are the even-toed ungulates such as camels and cows with the humble hippopotamus being the closest living rel relative. And the origin is artiodactyl. Amazon river dolphins belong to the kingdom Animalia and their scientific name is Inia geofrensis. A long point of beak which allows it to ca easily catch prey and fit its beak into tight spaces is one of their adaptations. Another is a low triangular dorsal fin, which makes a dolphin more agile in a river system. Their flexible ne neck helps them to catch prey, and an advanced echolocation system allows the dolphin to determine the location of fish in the murky water. Unlike other dolphins, boaters are able to move their heads left and right. They possess paddle-like flippers that can move in a circular motion, which enables the boater to have exceptional maneuverability while navigating the river and flooded forest for fish, their primary source of food. A number of attributes of this dolphin given give given its considerable maneuver maneuverability, which is very helpful in its habitat. The attributes include long broad flippers capable of circular movement, long flukes, a ridge on their back which forms a long low dorsal ridge, non-fused vertebrae allowing flex flexible head movement and good vision in and out of water. The price of these evolutionary adaptations is speed. Amazon river dolphins are rather slow compared to other species, typically 1.5 to 3.2 kilometers per hour with bursts of much higher speeds. Their bodies appear to be rather fat and heavy, but they are very flexible. None of their cervical vertebrae are fused, which allows them to move their head in all directions. They possess broad triangular flukes and wide pectoral flippers, which sometimes possess a six phalanx. 
Their long humeri enable their flippers to move in a circular motion, giving them exceptional maneuverability when navigating through vegetation and flooded forests. Boaters are distinguished from other river dolphins by several characteristics. On top of their rostrums, they have diagnostic stiff vibrissae. They possess heterodentition as well, with their anterior teeth being conical and their posterior teeth having flanges on the lingual portions of the crowns. They also have long, low dorsal keels from 30 to 61 centimeters in length rather than the typical triangular dorsal fins of other dolphins. The Bodo's distinctive bulbous forehead slopes steeply forward and can change shape because of the presence of the animal's melon. The dolphin uses muscular control to alter the shape of its melon for echolocation purposes, to receive and understand input coming back from the sounds the animal makes with its mouth. Like other cetaceans, the pink dolphin uses echolocation to make sense of its environment, enabling it to navigate and locate prey. Marine biologists have identified at least 10 distinct calls the Bodo uses for echolocation. Like any other cetacean, pink dolphins have two different shapes of teeth and other distinctly long te beaks. They use the conical teeth in the front of their mouth to catch and haul prey. Their molar-like rear teeth are flanged and used for crushing food before swallowing, enabling them to safely eat crustaceans and other marine animals with shells. Stiff hairs line the top and bottom of Bodo's beaks, an important adaptation that gives the dolphins greater sensory information as they forage for food in the mud and traverse shallower water. Pink Dolphins have a ridge on their backs that rises to a low hump where a dorsal fin would be on most other dolphins, making it easier for them to swim in shallow water. They also have proportionally larger fins and broad triangular flukes. The size of their fins and flukes enable them to maneuver more easily in even the shallowest tributaries. Their pectoral flippers have longer bones than in other dolphins, which enables them to move their fins in a completely circular motion. While all of these physical adaptations increase pink dolphins' ability to maneuver in the rivers and tributaries where they live, they also make them much slower swimmers than marine dolphins.